Are you confused about processors? Are you confused which processor to be used? Are you confused which processor to buy? Let's talk about the processors, their generations, types and which one to use in your laptop or desktop. Let's get started. Nehalem was the Intel processor microarchitecture which was successor to core architecture which had certain limitations like inability to increase clock speed, inefficient pipelining and many more. Nehalem used 45 nanometer processor. Sandy Bridge processors were introduced in 2011. Sandy Bridge processors used 32 nanometer architecture. Sandy Bridge average performance enhancement as compared to Nehalem was about 11.3%. Ivy Bridge are faster than Sandy Bridge architecture and uses 22 nanometer processor. Ivy Bridge consumes 50% less energy than Sandy Bridge. And performance is increased by 25 to 68% as compared to Sandy Bridge. Haswell uses the same 22 nanometer processor. But performance is increased by 3 to 8% as compared to Ivy Bridge processors. Haswell supports DDR4 technology with a completely new cache design. Broadwell is the fifth generation architecture which was launched in 2014 with 14 nanometer processor. Skylake is the latest generation processor which is released by Intel. Skylake also uses 14 nanometer processors like Broadwell. But it has less power consumption. Let's talk about the basic differences between these processors. i3 processors are the basic processors with dual core for both laptop and desktop. Hyperthreading is enabled in this processor. Hyperthreading is the technique to split each cores into two threads, which allows your operating system to use the cores more efficiently. Hyperthreading basically means that if there is any processor with dual core with hyperthreading, then it will work as quad core. It doesn't doubles your performance. There are different types of i3 processors such as 4150, 4220 etc. Each of them have different clock speed. i3 processors are with cache memory such as 2 megabytes, 3 megabytes etc. I3 processors can be used for normal purpose like browsing, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, normal gaming if graphics card is there. I5 processors have two variants that is one for laptop and another for desktop. I5 processors are dual core with hyperthreading. But desktop variant of I5 processors are quad core without hyperthreading. I5 processors have better cache memory and clock speed as compared to the i3 processors. i5 processors can be used for heavy tasks such as gaming with dedicated graphics, Photoshop etc. i7 processors has three variants, two for laptops and one for desktops. For laptops there is dual core processors and quad core processors and for desktops there is quad core and octa core processors. Hyperthreading is enabled in i7 processors. i7 processors have better cache memory. It can be up to 8 megabytes of cache memory. i7 processors can be used for very high-end works like audio video rendering, high-end games, 3D graphics etc. Now we have understood basic differences between the processors and different generations of the processors. But how to understand the basic differences by just seeing the specifications? Let's talk about that. If you'll see any processor for example Intel Core i7 7500U processor, here if you'll see at the first digit, that is 7 which shows the generation of the processor. U is the suffix used to show ultra low power, similarly Y for extremely low power, H for high performance etc. Desktops have different chips. Desktops chips has no suffix, for example Intel Core i5-6500. If there is any processor with K as the suffix then it denotes overclockable chips. So that's all about the Intel Core i3, i5 and i7 processors. 
to know more about hyperthreading and cache memory please refer to our hyperthreading and cache memory videos. Please share and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.